Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ola Jumake. I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I thought to share with you my financial diet plan. There are certain things that I stopped buying either as a direct result of the pandemic or things that I drastically cut down on in terms of how much of them I buy. And it's essentially part of my minimalism journey. So if you'd like to know more about these things, keep on watching. So the first thing that I don't spend money on as a result of the pandemic is transportation. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not taking London transport. I'm currently working from home. So what I tend to do more of is walk around. So if I need to get to the stores, or if I need to go out as an emergency, I walk. I haven't been visiting any family members. I've been on lockdown. So I find that I'm not spending money on transportation. I'm also not driving at the moment, which means that I'm not spending money on petrol, on car services and the likes. The second item that I've spent absolutely zero pounds on during this pandemic is makeup. And this is because, well, I'm not going out, of course, but secondly, I'm actually learning to use the things I have as opposed to piling on more and more and more makeup. So what I'm doing now is that I have essentially cleaned out my makeup closet and I have narrowed it down to the things that I find to be essential, things I use more often than not, and I have completely committed to finishing those products before I move on to the next. The third thing is eating out. I don't order from restaurants. I'm not eating out at the moment. This has actually forced me to do a lot of cooking at home, which is of course financially better because it's cheaper to cook from home. And also I find that I'm cooking and I'm eating more healthily than before. The fourth thing is gym memberships. Now, obviously due to the lockdowns, it means that, you know, a lot of gyms have basically seen their memberships diminish overnight. It means that more people are either exercising at home or are taking walks in the park or just keeping active in different ways. And of course that's saving you anywhere from sort of 20 pounds to, you know, for some people, 200 pounds a month. So it's actually acted as a great financial diet as well. So what I do now is that I take walks around the park on a daily basis, and I'm also exercising at home, which saves money, but it also keeps you very healthy. The next thing is spending money on celebrations, things like birthdays or dinners, or, you know, just anything that essentially gets you out of your home and spending money, things like holidays, things like, um, you know, gatherings or occasions. Everything is now done virtually online. And so one saves a ton of money from not spending on occasions and travels and things like that. The next point is fast fashion. I have completely cut out buying clothes and shoes, at least for the time being. Firstly, I have to say that I'm quite fortunate in that area in the sense that I've shopped a lot over the years and now I've taken a different approach. Instead of focused on shopping at the moment and being tempted by all the sales, all the lovely sales that we see going on now, I have actually taken it upon myself to clean up my closet, sell some things that I no longer have a need for and give out the rest. And that has saved me an incredible amount of money. Additional to that point is that I'm trying to make a conscious decision to buy less fast fashion and just invest in higher quality items that will last me a very long time and actually bring more value to me than fast fashion. Subscriptions, things like magazine subscriptions, uh, TV subscriptions and the likes. The only subscription I have at the moment is to Netflix and that has actually saved me quite a lot of money on a monthly basis. I no longer have any subscriptions and that has actually helped me channel more of my time towards doing things that are of value, spending money on my beauty therapies. So getting my nails done, getting my hair done, getting my waxing done. I had to basically take that upon myself to learn how to do those things for myself. So coming out of this pandemic, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to my beauticians as frequently as I used to, because now I've learned to do a lot of those things myself and I'm becoming more self-sufficient. So I might, you know, every now and then splurge and indulge a little bit or pamper myself, but I have saved a ton of money from doing things myself, learning a lot of self-care. Next thing I've cut out is sugary drinks, drinks of any sort. I have invested more in drinking water over this period, again, to keep myself healthy, but also to keep my costs down. And I've actually seen that it's benefiting me a lot more than I thought. 
both financially and health-wise. And that's something that I definitely will continue with in the future. Now, I know that some people prefer to drink tap water and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But for my own benefit, I'm just happier purchasing water from the stores. So what I actually do is that when I go out for shopping, which is not very often, I would buy sort of, you know, between three to five five litre bottles, which are the ginormous ones, which lasts me for weeks and weeks and weeks. I do not spend money purchasing apps. I keep my phone very simple. I use it for emails, texts, phone calls and chats. Uh, I'm not really a games person anyway, so I don't have any apps. I don't spend any money on apps and I'm sure that has saved me quite a lot over time as well. Just in case items. I do not spend money on just in case items anymore because I found out that they do more harm than good for me. They just basically lay around my house. They cause clutter and I find no value in them. So if I need something urgently, I am happy to borrow it or make the trip out of the house to buy it. I don't buy just in case items anymore. How many times have you been in the store and you buy something just in case you need it in the future and you find out that it spends more time on the shelf than in actual use. I've cut out all of that and it's also a habit that I hope to keep going forward out of this pandemic. Social media, a great thief of time. I am no longer on social media. I actually joined social media initially from a business perspective, but I found that it didn't fit in with my lifestyle. It didn't fit in with who I am. So I am no longer on any social media platforms at all. Instead, I have funneled a lot of that time into doing things that I actually value add, into learning new skills, taking courses, and focus on self-development as opposed to being on social media for hours, which is, in my opinion, a complete waste of time. And the final point is a bulk buying and impulse buying. When we went into this lockdown, I think there was so much of a scare that we would run out of items very quickly. What I found was that the more things I bought in bulk, the more money I wasted because I wasn't really using a lot of the items I purchased, especially when it came to perishable goods like food and things like that. So I don't buy things in bulk anymore. I buy things as I need them. So that has saved a ton of money, but it also just keeps my household very lean. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has inspired you to think about going on a financial journey. Don't forget to like this video if you found it to be valuable. Also share it, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos from me. And until next time, look after yourselves. Bye for now.